Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris P. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today, we are talking about none other than success. That's right, baby. Everybody wants to be successful, right? Everybody wants to make more money. Well, that's what this video is all about. This plan that I'm going to outline for you right now is going to work for anybody, no matter your industry, no matter your trade, no matter who you are or where you come from. If you follow this plan, it should work for you. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to need attitude. You have got to keep your attitude up. You've got to keep your attitude up. You have to be positive. Okay, one way to do that very easily is one word. A smile. Okay, you're going to have to put on one of these. Okay, turn up the corners of your mouth and smile. I don't care if you have to force it. Eventually, it'll start to come naturally. Okay, and I don't care who you are or what you look like. I don't care if you have one tooth in your mouth. Okay, if you have one tooth in your mouth, you shine that tooth up and you show it to the world. Okay, because a smile says so much. It conveys a positive attitude. It says that you're friendly, that you're nice, that you're inviting, that you're open, all that good stuff, okay? And in business, those are good things to have. So make sure you smile. You want to be positive to your, your, uh, your clients, your customers, or whoever you're dealing with. Your coworkers, same thing, okay? Another way to have a positive attitude that I want to share with you guys is because, you know, I think this is, this is, this is uh, overlooked a lot. You have to be working towards your passion. If you're not working towards your passion, it's going to be hard to smile. So you have to think about the point that you're at in your, on your path to success right now because you could be working at a job that you hate, okay? And it's not your dream job. It's just something that you do to get, get by, okay? First thing you need to do is sit down and figure out what your dream job is. You need to figure out who you really are and what you would really want to do if money wasn't an object. What would you be doing if you had all the money in the world? If you had enough money where you didn't have to work for a paycheck, what would you do every day? And whatever the answer to that question is, that's what you should be working towards. And it really doesn't matter what it is because you can be successful doing anything if you're good at it. And the way to get good at something is you have to practice. But the way to practice without it feeling like work is to be doing something that you really love doing. Okay, so it all comes back to knowing yourself. So if you don't know the answer to that question of what you would do if money wasn't an issue, then you need to figure it out. You need to sit down with a three ring binder and a pen and some paper and write down the things that you're interested in and do that for a week, for a month, or however long you need to until you start to compile enough information where you can figure out, oh, I'm spending more time on this subject than I am on this subject. And that's going to help you determine what you really naturally like doing. And then you, that's your passion. Now you know what your passion is. So now you know that the job that you work at currently that you hate is just a stepping stone to getting where you ultimately want to be in that dream job with that dream company or doing whatever it is, okay? So... Let me go ahead and put that here, okay? We'll put that uh, right here. Passion. You got to find your passion if you want to have the right attitude about what you're doing. If you're going to keep your attitude up, you've got to be working towards your passion, okay? I hope you guys can see that, okay? And take notes on this. Get your pen and paper out, take notes, and put it in that three-ring binder that we were just talking about, okay? So now you've got... You've got your passion. You know what your passion is. So now you've got the right attitude because you know that even though you're working at McDonald's, you're only doing it long enough to where you can get the next uh, good job that's going to help you get to where you want to be. Okay? So passion, attitude, you got to keep it up. Now, the next thing that you're going to need, work, ethic. You have got to keep your work ethic up. You've got to work hard. Now again, this is going to be much easier if you know your passion. So once you figure out your passion, you're going to have the right attitude about what you're doing and then you're going to work hard because you want to get to your passion. You want to get to the thing that you really love doing. Now hopefully it's not that far off. Hopefully you're not that many steps away from getting there. 
but it doesn't matter how many steps away from your dream job you are, as long as you know what your dream job is, or your dream situation, or your dream career, or your dream opportunity, then even if you're three or four jobs behind it, you can still work those jobs with a good attitude because you know that ultimately you're going to get to where you want to be. Okay? So, keep your work ethic up, you keep your attitude up, and guess what else is going to stay up? Your paycheck is also going to stay up. If you keep your attitude up and you keep your work ethic up, your paycheck is going to stay up. Okay, so this is how you become successful. Again, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing because it's all going to be the same. If you have a positive attitude, opportunities may come your way you didn't even know you wanted or you weren't even aware of. Okay? Also, part of having the right attitude is um, dressing for the part. So, you may have a job where you don't need to dress up, but you should anyway. Because you're going to stand out and it's going to show people that you are really a serious person. So always go above and beyond what is being asked of you so that you can stand out. And again, as long as you have that passion, as long as you know what your passion is, that's not going to be hard to do. Before I got the job that I have now, which I absolutely love, which is my dream job. Excuse me. I used to go to the library every day dressed in a suit and tie with my computer bag. And just sit in one of the rooms that they have there and pretend that I had my dream job. Because I wanted to make sure that I was in a position to grab it if I saw it. So if somebody came along and, and had the opportunity that I wanted, I wanted to already be dressed for the position. I didn't want to wait for the position to come and then get ready for it. I wanted to get ready first. Okay, so that's, that's you got to have that vision. And then you, you, first you have to think big. Then you have to act big. And then you get big. Okay, so it has to start here. Then you start to pretend, you know, you fake it till you make it. That's what, you know, a lot of people say that. Fake it till you make it, and it does work. Okay, so this is how you keep everything up. Now, let's run through some scenarios now. Let's say you have a good attitude. Okay, so your attitude is up, but your work ethic is down. So your attitude is positive, but you're not working hard. Okay, let's fix that up a little bit. There we go. You're not working hard. You're not working consistently. You have a good attitude. You're smiling. But your work ethic isn't there. Well, guess what? Guess what else isn't going to be there? The paycheck is also going to be down. You have to keep both of them up. Now, let's say, conversely, that uh, you have a bad attitude, but you're working hard. So you're showing up every day, and you're going through the motions, but you have a bad attitude. You never smile. You never talk to anybody. You're not friendly. Well, that is probably going to have a negative effect on your paycheck. So, the way to be truly successful is to keep your attitude up and to keep your work ethic up. Your paycheck will stay up. Okay, this is where we want to be. We don't want this. We don't want this. So, in order to keep these up, know your passion. Your paycheck will stay up. My name is Chris P. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Put a comment down in the sections below if you think that this will work for you. If you tried it, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe also. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Chris P. And uh, I will definitely keep them coming.